I can see me just get my hair absolutely tangled up in this. Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be trying out the Full Finish Air Styler by Tresemme. I saw this in Asda and it was like £13 and I thought I'm going to give this a go. I'm absolutely terrible at doing my hair. My idea of blow drying my hair is to tip my head upside down and just just do this until it was dry to try and give it some volume and then I straighten it anyway which flattens it out and it's just like so I just thought that I would try it just to see whether or not it's something that is going to work for me and I'm actually going to be able to do it properly and do a good job. So it says to use a hairdryer to rough dry hair until it's 80% dry and then use this on it. I've just let my hair air dry um, so it is pretty much dry. And this comes with um, three heat settings including cool, a curl release button, a 23mm brush attachment, a 19mm brush attachment, a vent brush attachment and a 1.8m swivel cord. Okay, I think it is literally just this and then the attachment on the end. Okay, let's plug it in. So what it's saying is to add lift at the root to use these round headed brushes uh, close to the root and leave it in place um, for a few seconds before gently moving the hair style down the hair to so create shape at the ends obviously run it down and then as you reach the end of the section rotate the head uh, the brush head turning the ends of your hair inward to achieve a turned in style or the other way if you want a flicky out and then the vent brush can be used to finish drying damp hair to give a smooth finish so I'm assuming that's more of a straight look so I'm gonna go with this bigger attachment the bigger of the two the 23 yeah 23 millimeter out of the two I might actually do one side of my head with this and then one side with just the flat one. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. How will I get lift at my root then if I do that? Decisions, decisions. Okay. We'll be able to see then which one works and which one doesn't. Kind of. So this is meant to just slot in. Ooh. actually kind of worked at the end there. Oh. oh! I thought I'd got all the tinsel out of my hair. I've literally pulled about 10 strands out. I didn't even think I'd put that many in. They must have been breeding on the sly. Just making more tinsel babies. What the hell? I feel like it has added a bit of volume at the roots but then my hair isn't as sleek as maybe it'd be different on the other side. So, I don't know whether you can actually see it has, I'd say, given me a bit more volume um, and I don't mind the way the ends are looking. I think my technique's a bit rubbish, um, but 
it's not as sleek as what it would be if I was doing it my other way, blow dry my hair upside down, then straightening it and then using my straighteners to curl my ends. But I do, I do like the lift that it's given at the roots. So let's see what the flat side is like and see whether I can get that sleek look, flat sleek look from this brush. So these are the ends of my hair. Um, this side is not too bad. Um, I don't. It's probably my technique of using it. And this is the straight side. It's not completely straight, but my hair feels lovely and silky. I do think that this has given me some slight lift at the roots compared to this side. Um, I do like the fact that I can get this brush right in at my roots, whereas I'm not able to do it when I've got a hairdryer as well. I'm just like, it's not happening. So for roots, I would probably use this again. In fact, I am gonna use this again. I'm gonna give it a whirl. And I'm gonna see how my hair does using this at the roots and then straightening the ends and then using me straighteners to curl my ends. I'll, pro I'll probably play around with this a bit more, but yeah, it, it doesn't leave me hair as smooth as I'd like. And I'm not overly keen on the curls at the bottom, but I, could, I do need to practice, just give it another go. This size, as I say, it feels really, really nice. It's definitely smoothed out more than on this side. Um, but, yeah, there's obviously no lift to it. But if I ever decide to like leave my hair to air dry and then just finish it off with that, I would be more than happy to use the, the flat side of it. Because I do... It does feel lovely. My hair feels absolutely gorgeous. I also didn't use the cool setting to set everything. So maybe if I did that, it, I would get better results. I just forgot to. But for £13, I'm really happy with that. As I say, I will definitely be using it again. And I'll just keep practicing and I'll just keep trying to get myself some volume in my flat hair. That's it, everything for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. Bye.